Stability is complicated, but it's a fundamental concept in rocketry. It is defined as the tendency to return to a neutral position when displaced. Basically, if your rocket is unstable, it will whiz around uncontrollably. On a model rocket, fins provide drag and lift near the rear of the rocket. These forces balance with the weight of the rocket and keep the nose cone pointed towards the sky. This is called aerodynamic stability. It is achieved with large fins at the base, which correct the trajectory whenever it gets knocked off course by the wind. All this means is that your rocket will fly safely and predictably. This is How to Fly with Stability. Hit it! If you have a ball and you put it in a bowl, that ball is naturally going to settle at the bottom of the bowl. It doesn't matter where you put the ball or if you knock it around a bit. The forces applied to the ball by gravity and from the bowl will always move the ball to the same position, the bottom of the bowl. This is stable motion. It's the same thing we are trying to do in rocketry. The ball is like the rocket and the bowl is like the flow of air around the body. We are trying to make sure that gravity, thrust, and the aerodynamic forces balance on the rocket. There are two points to consider when trying to determine the stability of a rocket. Number one, the center of gravity. This is where the weight of the rocket balances. Number two, the center of pressure. This is where the aerodynamic forces balance, thrust, drag, and lift. You always want the center of pressure to be behind the center of gravity. This is a stable rocket. The rocket will always rotate around the center of gravity. When it is in front of the center of pressure, it will stay there. However, when these positions are reversed, the rocket will flip continuously and uncontrollably. This is an unstable rocket. Stability can be calculated, but you're not going to need your calculator. It can also be found through simulations, computational fluid dynamics, or it can be found experimentally using something like a wind tunnel, the most accurate method. But to get started in rocketry and to fly safely, you just need a simple technique to determine if your rocket will be stable. The first step is to find the center of gravity. Simply balance your rocket on your finger, mark that location, and step one is completed. Easy. Finding the center of pressure can be harder. To do it best, you would use a wind tunnel. But the cardboard cutout method will tell you the location of the center of pressure quickly and reliably. Simply trace the rocket onto cardboard, cut it out, and find where the cardboard balances on your finger. Mark this location on the rocket or measure the distance from the nose cone. If the center of gravity is in front of the center of pressure, the rocket will be stable. Did we say that before? A simple measurement for stability can be done by taking the distance between the center of pressure and the center of gravity and dividing it by the diameter of the airframe. These are called calipers. Anything between one and two is called the sweet spot. So below zero, unstable. Between zero and one, marginally stable. Meaning the wind is more likely to knock the rocket off course. Between one and two, the sweet spot. This is a safe and stable rocket. Above two and you are overstable. This will cause your rocket to veer into the wind. If your rocket isn't stable, don't worry. There are things you can do to correct it easily. You can add weight like clay to the nose cone or even increase the length of the body tube to move the center of gravity forward. Meanwhile, the center of pressure remains at its location. You can also move the center of pressure further toward the rear of the rocket by increasing the size of the fins. The overhead 
swing test is an easy way to verify the stability of your rocket before you launch. Simply, tie a string around the center of gravity and swing the rocket overhead. If it flies straight, without spinning uncontrollably, the rocket is stable and you are ready to fly. Hey everyone, Nicole here. Just wanted to let you know that we've ramped up our plans and we're pumping out more and more content for educators. You'll be able to find it all right here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted every time we release new content. Catch you later!